But what about decimal division? That's got to be hard, right? Well, multi-digit division is always a little hard. But luckily, decimals don't really make it very much harder. In fact, it's only when there's a decimal divisor that the procedure is a little different. If you just have a decimal dividend and the divisor is a whole number, it's really simple. That's because you can just do the long division procedure that we learned in the long division videos and the decimal point doesn't affect it at all. You just need to make sure that you bring a copy of the decimal point up into the answer line when you're done. So if you have the division problem, 12.64 divided by four, you would follow the division procedure as if the decimal point was not even there and you'd get 316 in the answer line. But then you need to bring a copy of the decimal point straight up into the final answer, making it 3.16. That's all there is to it. If it's only the dividend, that's a decimal number. But what if both the divisor and the dividend are decimals? Like what if you have to divide 6.45 by 1.5? Well, the first step is don't panic. As you'll see, this isn't much harder. It turns out that there's a very simple trick that we can use to make it so our divisor is not a decimal number. We can just shift the decimal point in the divisor to the right until it's a whole number. But if we do that, then we also need to shift the decimal in the dividend the same amount to the right. So in this case, if we want to shift the decimal point in our divisor one place to the right so that it's 15, we can do that as long as we also shift the decimal point in the dividend by the same amount which will turn it into 64.5. And here's the really cool part. If we do this new division problem, 64.5 divided by 15, we'll get exactly the same answer we would have if we did the problem 6.45 divided by 1.5. That only works because we shifted the decimal point in the divisor and the dividend by the same amount in the same direction. And you'll realize why that works if you remember equivalent fractions. Think about the fraction 1 over 2. That's the same as 1 divided by 2, right? Okay, but what if I multiplied both the top and bottom number by 10? That would give me 10 over 20, which is equivalent to 1 over 2. Even though it uses different top and bottom numbers, both represent the value 1 half. They're equivalent fractions. Well, that's what we did in our decimal division problem when we shifted the decimal point in both the divisor and the dividend by one place. We multiplied each number by 10. And since fractions and division are basically the same, we made equivalent division problems. But now one of them has a whole number divisor. Pretty cool, huh? That means if we solve 64.5 divided by 15, we get the answer 4.3, which is exactly the same answer we would get if we did 6.45 divided by 1.5. And you can use that trick to avoid ever having to divide with the decimal divisor.